All right, let's make a kidney in PowerPoint. So just with a uh, regular slide here, I'm gonna delete all of that so we have a blank slide to work from. And then I'm gonna navigate here to my insert tab and then I'm gonna come up to shapes and then I'm gonna grab this shape here called the curve tool. And what this will allow me to do is each time I click, it will allow me to lay down a point and it will kind of average a curve between those points. So right now I'm just kind of roughing out the outline of the kidney that I wanna make and that looks pretty good. And if I wanted to modify that at all, I could come up here in my shape format tab down to my edit shape menu and then edit those points that I laid down if I needed to touch up uh, <clears throat> whatever I made. All right, so we could uh, you know, maybe give ourselves a little bit more space to work with here. All right, and so now I'm gonna click on my shape, I'm gonna remove the outline, and I'm gonna change the fill color here to something uh, closer to a kidney. Uh, so let's uh, go to more fill colors and I'm going to kind of do like a reddish, a desaturated reddish orange. And that looks good. And uh, the next thing I want to do is add the renal capsule. Uh, so I'm just going to duplicate that shape and make it a little bit darker. So I'm just going to go to more fill colors and I'm just going to darken that up a little bit. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And I'm going to send it to the back. And uh, then I'm going to move this so that it's kind of nicely inside of that. And maybe this other shape, I can make that fibrous caps a little bit smaller. All right, so now that I've got that, now I need to add my medullary pyramid. So I'm gonna come in here to <clears throat> insert shape and curve again, and I'm just going to make uh, kind of a roughly a, a triangle. And let's just click like that. And that's not exactly the shape I want. First, let's change the color. So I'm gonna change that to a bit of a, a lighter color. And now I need to edit that shape so I can go to the edit points again. And I've just taken that edit points and I've added to my quick access toolbar so I can just click on it here, which saves me a bit of time. And I'm just gonna delete that point by holding control and clicking on it. All right, and that looks good. And so now I'm just going to duplicate uh, that shape by hitting control D. And then I'm just gonna move these around uh, and update their shape as I propagate them around the, the kidney to kind of keep the contour uh, parallel to the outside of the kidney. All right, and that looks pretty good. And so for this last one, I'm just gonna update the shape a little bit to fit in that spot a little bit uh, nicer. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is add the collecting system. So it's same thing as before, insert shape, curve, and now we can go through and draw the minor and uh, major minor calyces and the renal pelvis. And I'm gonna bring it down in here uh, to the ureter. Okay, and so I'm gonna Bring that back up here into the renal pelvis and then back over here to the medullary pyramids. And we'll hide the, this behind those pyramids uh, once we're done. So I'm just gonna bring a calyx out here to each one of these pyramids. All right, and that looks pretty good. And so now um, what I'm going to do is change, uh, remove the outline once again and uh, change this to more kind of like a yellowish fill color and now I need to hide this uh, behind the uh, papillary portion of the medullary pyramid. So I'm going to, all right, so I messed up this portion of the video, so I'm re-recording this. Um, come over here to your home tab, and within the home tab, come over here to where it says select, and come down to selection pane. And that will open up all of your objects here on the right-hand side, which you can see I already went through and named some of these. You just double-click, and you can type in you know whatever you want. I'm just going to delete that. And uh, that way, when I want to move this object, which was above these other ones, uh, when we first drew it, I can bring it down here and put it right beneath all of these medullary pyramids. And I could even, you know, rename all of these if I, if I wanted to. And ideally, I would have um, named the first one. And then as I propagated it, it would say pyramid one, two, three, four, et cetera. Um, so, you know, I should have done that earlier. But uh, now this allows us to really quickly and easily rearrange these without doing the endless, you know, send back, send back, whatever uh, the case is. All right, and now, you know, we're, we're pretty well on our way. Um, <clears throat> we could go through and add some texture to these if we wanted to. I'm not going to mess with that right now. One thing we do want to, or I want to show is that, you know, this is a three-dimensional thing and we're just taking a, a cut through it. So I'm going to add a few um, calices kind of extending out here three-dimensionally. So... I'm gonna come in here to insert and I'm just gonna insert a circle or an oval. And uh, I'm gonna make this oval here and I'm just gonna kind of tilt it to the, where I'd imagine one coming in off, you know, out of plane. I'm gonna remove the outline and I actually wanna fill this with a gradient. Um, and so I'm gonna actually right click and bring up the shape format uh, tab here. And now uh, with this gradient, 
uh, what I want to do is I'm going to um, come over here to fill gradient fill and I'm going to just drag this one off and I want to fill this with a really dark yellow color I'm almost black uh, so I'm going to come up here to more colors and I will bring this you know way down to nearly black and then I want to fade that to that same color yellow uh, that the, the collecting system already is. And, uh, and you can see that gives me a bit of a sense of uh, kind of one of these coming out of plane. But it's a bit sharp edge, so I'm going to come over here to my um, shape options, and I'm going to go uh, soft edges, and I'm just going to soften that up by a couple pixels here, maybe two pixels. All right, and that gives me a little bit more of a sense of that kind of three-dimensionality. And then I'll just duplicate this around, maybe make it a slightly different size and, uh, you know, appearance for the, for the other ones. Maybe a little bit wider there. Okay, so now we have a bit more of that sense of the three-dimensionality. And, and now we're, we're essentially done. And so the nice thing I like about this is I, if I want to come back over here to my shape uh, selection area, uh, I can click on like the real capsule and say I wanted to show like uh, an abscess or, or whatever the case is. I can come back up here to my edit points and now I can just click to add some more points here. So I'm just going to add uh, a point here and uh, oops, I clicked off of it. So let me click back here to edit points and I'm going to add another one here and say I want to add, you know, some pathology in, in, in here. Um, now, now I could add that, right? And so I could illustrate, you know, whatever I wanted to. And now let's just say insert shape, uh, and then this will be, you know, maybe our our pathology that I'm drawing in here, whatever the whatever the case is. All right, and you know, maybe we maybe we can make this a renal cyst. That's not what it looks like, but um, maybe let's make this gnarly looking. So I'm just going to remove the outline. Maybe let's make it blood. Let's make it a little a little hemorrhage. Or here's another thing you could do. You could just um, duplicate your slide and then you can modify this shape. So if I go to here to edit points and I can bring this out here um, and then draw that thing in there. So let's uh, just draw that in there one more time here to kind of fit in this space. All right, and now um, I'm just gonna fill that with red again, remove the outline and now I'm going to change this transition here to morph. So now when I switch slides, you can see that it's going to bulge out like that dynamically. So let's just start our presentation here. Oop, it's playing on the wrong monitor here. So let's do primary display. All right. So now when I'm giving my presentation, I'll start on this slide. And then when I advance slides, it's going to do something dynamic like that. Um, and so you could do, you know, get creative with that and do whatever you wanted to. And I could even duplicate the slide again and change the shape. And now that should still be on morph since I just duplicated the slide. So let's see how this plays. Okay, so we switched to slide two and now switch to slide three. So you can see that there's a lot you can do uh, once you make the illustration in uh, PowerPoint. And then, of course, you can adapt it in any way that you need. If I wanted to, to have two kidneys for whatever reason, I could just group all these up and move it over here. And I'm just going to hit Control D for duplicate. And now I'm going to go to shape format and I'm going to go to um, rotate menu. And then I'm going to just click flip horizontal. Oops, I clicked flip vertical. So we'll flip that back and flip horizontal, and now we have two kidneys. So hopefully that's helped you. If you uh, found this video valuable, please hit subscribe and help me uh, get my, my channel more popular. Thanks.